Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. So today, we fix a few things. We go back inside of the game and we fix a lot of the shooting mechanic we had. And that's pretty much what we do in this video, so a lot of the shooting stuff. And without further ado guys, let's get started. Alright, so we're back with a debugging session and we're trying to make this game playable. Um, let's have a look at inside of the game. We're going to be tackling some bugs inside of the game this time. And um, right away I'd like to show you that my speed and my range are both maxed out. And look at this. This is what's going on in the game. And that's a little bit weird. As you can tell, the bullets are actually jumping from one enemy to another. And um, the explanation is, is simple. It's really hard. It took me a little while to figure out, but um, the reason it does that even though we only have one launch projectile function on every single one of them is because we're actually using the same enemy over and over again so this guy he just moves over here and that gets shot and uh, we're gonna be fixing this today quite frankly it is a easy fix and we're gonna fix multiple problems that comes with it as well I don't know if you guys can tell but even though the enemy is dead we're still shooting at the very same place and we're having multiple uh, combat decks popping up and we're also calling the uh, take damage function more than once which in return gives us more loot for uh, exactly no reason so you could get like five loot out of this guy okay so to make sure we fix this we are going to head over to the projectile script and we're gonna be changing quite a few things in there um, we're also going to do something else. You see how the bullet travels at a certain speed. Uh, I think it's defined over here. So it's like a number like 12.5 times our delta time. That's not something I want to happen. I want, I want the bullet to actually scale with the speed of our speed stat. So if we have a, a speed stat that is really maxed out, then our bullet is going to travel faster. And we're going to be doing that inside of this script. But first we need two new fields. The, the first one being a private bull has target which is going to equal to false in a private vector 3 last target position now whenever we do a launch projectile we're going to say has target is equal to true and inside of our update we're going to do it down here and check if our object is active or not so if target if I can type if target the game object active self is equal equal to false or you know what let's just since it's already a bull let's just do that so if it's equal to false we're gonna say has target is equal to false and we're also going to say last target position is equal to target dot position even though it's false we can still access these value and now let's head over to our transform dot position instead of sending this towards the target dot position we are going to check do you have a target? So if has target, if you do, you're gonna send it to target dot position. Oops. Target dot position like this. And say you don't, then you're gonna send it to the last target position. So it pretty much looks like this right now. And uh yeah. So that's great. Same thing over here at the very end. So we're gonna say if we have a target we're gonna send it to target dot position and if we don't then last target position and it should actually fix all of our problem in one go let's have a quick look at this inside of the game and okay so it did not fix our problem we're still getting the jumping Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to add something else. At the very end here on the on arrival function, we are going to say if has target, then we do this. If it doesn't have a target, that means we pretty much, uh, we don't have to call the combat text manager again, we don't have to call the get loot again. The target is pretty much dead and we can't kill it more than once. And this should actually fix a little bit Okay, so this does fix the uh, combat text issue. Now, I don't know if we still have that bouncing issue. 
I am going to just use boost morale. And it doesn't like doesn't look like we're actually bouncing bullets. And what if we actually slow that down a little bit? It actually looks fine. Now, of course, uh, maybe the boost morale gives you too much speed, but um, we can go and fix that right now, actually. The next thing I said I wanted to do is actually make sure that those bullets, they, um, they travel at a speed relative to the actual tower stat, speed stat. So I'm going to declare a few things in here. We're going to say float base speed is equal to stats helper dot instance dot base stat we don't have access to that we could be putting it on public okay let's just put a alt on this for two seconds we're gonna add over to our stats helper and we're gonna be changing the get stat value function just a little bit so you see that get stat value over here we are going to shoot it another parameter let's say int stat level and is equal to minus one you're gonna declare a default value in here and that's very important so we don't break anything else in our code okay up here we are going to say int level is equal to and then we're gonna check is stat level equal to minus one if it is equal to minus one that means we have not given an additional parameter to that function so let's just use this value for the level now see we did send a stat level in here, it's not going to be minus 1 and we're going to say, let's just assume that you are stat level this way and just to make sure I haven't broken anything I'm just going to come here and have a look down there we have no error and if we hit play shouldn't have any errors as well and everything seems to be working fine still now we're going to go back inside of the projectile function and we're going to say float base speed is equal to get stat value and we're going to say we want the stat speed and we want that speed at level 0 so what is the stat value of speed when it hits at level 0 so we pretty much just get the base speed in that case and that's also going to work for any other stats now in case you want to know how much damage you're going to have at level 50 you can just say stat damage 50 alright um, over here we're going to declare a ratio so speed ratio and we'll say it's equal to base speed minus stats helper that instance get stat value we're doing, we're doing the same exact thing but we're getting the current level so we just have to type it like that and uh, let's also make sure that, that value so speed value is equal to speed value divided by uh, the base the actual base speed again this is going to give us a ratio of where we are right now so assume that you are at the max level it's going to give you 0. Point, actually no it's going to give you uh say it's 1.5 minus 0. 0.25 that's going to give you 1.25 divided 1.5 so you get this value which is exactly what I'm looking for and the lower your speed level is the lower that value is also going to be and um let's also make sure we have a cap on that in terms of not having the bullet go too slow so let's say that speed ratio is below 0 0.6 then we're going to say speed ratio is equal to 0 0.6 and this way we can only like we only have a range of in between 0 0.6 and 0 0.83 all right now the speed so float speed is going to equal speed ratio times um, I think we had 12.5 let's actually use something like 40 times n3k time dot delta time and now we can take this value and just replace what we've had over there at the very end yeah we had 12.5 which is a little bit too slow nice so now that this is completed or you know what I could actually use the speed ratio and just 0 0.4 I don't know, we're gonna have to test this out. 
but uh, let's basically just go in the game and have a look at these value how they turn out at a normal speed so right now I am max and when I max it actually goes that fast so the bullet they travel at that speed which is fair I actually like that because we're actually max so this is the fastest they can go now if I go back here and I reset my save game then I actually play something this is the speed they go at the bullets so they're way slower but they do make sense for that very level alright alright something else I'd like to do really quickly is also go back inside of my um, I think it's the hub manager I am not sure but at some places we give ourselves 5000 gold for no reason or it might be in the menu manager actually or maybe inside of the tower script oh here it is so inside of the tower script we have these line let's just remove that they're not being triggered right now because we're loading the save after that but eh, just in case it breaks and we just accidentally give our users some gold we're gonna be removing that so guys that is pretty much it for fixing the multiple loot issues we had the uh, bouncing of the shooting we also fixed the speed of the bullets and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you leave a like if you did, or if you learned something, that would be great as well. You can support us on Patreon, and you can also leave comments in the comment section below. All that kind of good stuff, as always. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.